but now Fetzner with his five serves. Takes the first point, good service, the long fast one down the backhand. Superb play there from Fetzner. Invited Gatien to make the first top spin with the service. Then that counter top spin into Gatien's backhand wins the point. Two out of two. There it is. Excellent play from Fetzner. The service, the top spin. Three out of three. Two more to go. It immediately played the strong top spin. There he is, former world champion, silver medalist in the Barcelona Olympics in the men's singles with game point. And his touch just let him down there. 20 all, alternate serving now. First player to win two clear points. Both players using the towel. Get rid of the sweat, compose themselves, and it's Gatien with the first serve. Good service there, short to the forehand. Fetzner went across to return with the backhand, tried the flick, just missed the edge of the table. And so it's the second game point for Gatien, but Fetzner has the service. Very brave, very brave indeed. The long service to the forehand. Gatien made the first top spin as we see, but what an excellent counter top spin with the backhand. 21 all. Go! Will it be third time lucky? Gatien's third game point. the German player, Stefan Fetzner, the third game point he saved, and he saved it with some very positive play. Again, he made the first top spin, so it's all square, service with Gatien. And again, excellent serve, Fetzner obviously didn't read the spin, probably didn't see the point of contact because of the shielding with the free arm there, the top spin on the ball. Fetzner flicks off the end of the table. So it's the fourth game point for Jean-Philippe Gatien. And again, amazing play from Fetzner. He took the initiative, played two or three strong backhand top spins. There we see one of them. Excellent backhand there. And he was round to play the forehand, but there was no need. 23 all. Fetzner hasn't impressed me this game, the return of serve on that occasion just failed to make the appropriate contact, bat on ball and so fifth game point for Gatien great serve there, kept it tight, made a strong top spin down the middle 24 all we see the excellent service and then the forehand topspin down the middle so Gatien serving 24 all Wait. 24 24 Wait. 24-24 
Lesnar went for the counter, Topskin off the bounce. Gatien makes the first top spin, Fetzner the counter top spin, just missed the edge of the table. And so once again, it's game point for Jean Philippe Gatien. And there it is, the sixth time of asking. First game for Jean Philippe Gatien. Gatien's father celebrating with his... Christian Martin there with Gatien and... and 15 all in the third and final game. I think we'll see Gatien here, the short serves, perhaps with no spin, hoping that Fetzner will push the ball slightly too high. They did push it, but what an excellent push. Christian Legou there on his feet. <laughs> Superb play there, the short serve. The return into Gatien's backhand, but he's quickly round. And a forehand top spin into Fetzner's body. 17-15. Been served. Fetzner pushing. He should have taken the flick on. He didn't. He played a little bit safe. And that's what happens. Give this gentleman half a chance. And he's in. 18-15. Again, the floor top spin serve. Fetzner lifts it. There he is. Mr. Gatian. And a great return, wide on the angle, and then the top spin off the bounce. 16, 19, Gatien does well to get the first one, let alone the second one. So Fetzner now, with his serves to come. This third and final game, far from over. First point, the short serve, the top spin, and one out of one so far. He certainly needs four to level it up, but if he can take five, what a bonus for the German team. 17, 19. Big point there for Gatien. Now with three match points to give France a 1-0 lead in this semi-final. Well, there it is, that's the first asking. Great game there, great performance by Stefan Fetzner. He played one of the best players in the world and almost did it. But as expected, Jean-Philippe Gatien takes the lead for France with an excellent performance. And they look more relieved there than anything else. And here we see the last point. Great footwork again. Gets across to that one wide to the forehand. And acknowledges his good fortune immediately. Because it just caught the top of the net. And there he is. There he is, acknowledging his good fortune first and foremost. A true sportsman. And there's the team there, happy. The supporters behind, dancing. Slap of the hands. And there he is, Jean-Philippe Gatien, confirming his victory. 21-17 in the third and final game. And just to confirm the score, there we see France 1-0 in the lead. Rostov able to do nothing on his serve.
Wonderful touch there by Roscoff. The ball very tight, very low over the net. Again, that powerful backhand from Roscoff. Given half a chance. Roscoff's in with those strong topspins. Again, Roscoff taking a chance there. Hit that backhand hard. Gakian got him with the topspin. Such a strong temperament. He was not going to be out of this for long, and only three points adrift now. Yeah. Crucial couple of serves left for Gatian now. 13-11. Just went for a little bit too much. To allow the German to get back in. <laughs> too good. What a super run that was. From your Roscoff. What's amazing here is the fine touch skills there to keep that return so tight and then suddenly to explode with that backhand topspin. And now Gatian has got real problems. Roscoff, just a point of drift, his serves to come. Sorry. Good to apologise, but uh, Roscoff short, just a little short. the tempo and he really sticking it on Gatia. <laughs> and he's got that level from six points down. And seven of the last eight points. That here because when both of these players are playing I always get the feeling when it's tight that they're going to win but now of course they're both playing each other and only one can win big shot at a big moment for the Frenchman great topspin there quick on his feet four on topspin down the line He's drawing the foul from Roscoff. <laughs> Great shot again over the table. Roscoff didn't do a lot wrong. He kept it tight. But as it turned out, not quite tight enough. But what a great shot over the table. Good use of the wrist. Excellent footwork. Three out of three of his serves have produced points for him. Oh! There's a fourth directly off the serve. So he's counted any suggestions that he might possibly be weakening, and here he is, two points away from left up. There's a shot and a point that gives Roscoff just a sneak of a chance to get back here. His serves to come. I think it's fair to say in table tennis it's no different than tennis in terms of the advantage of having service. So Roscoff still very much in this second game. 16-20. Well, wild serve and four game points for Gatia. And he did 
so well at the end there, as Roscoff looked to be on a roll. Seven out of eight points in a row in the middle there, but Gatien stood tall. And he's done just the job for the French, and he takes the second game. 20 leading 10-7, the fine example, 20 young players. Unbelievable forehand. Kicking serve, and he was straight onto it. to the German. Yeah. Well, back's been on the push there from Gatien, used his wrist, came underneath the ball. Roscoff just failing to lift the backspin. Whether that shows shot goes on or off is a good barometer of Roscoff's form. Yeah. Just a sign of unease. Off, mutter to himself. So quite clearly, pressure telling. But how about that? Just to say, he's not finished. Gatian blasting away on the forehand, getting terrific power, and then scurries away with his backside on the floor. Off to show Gatian that he still means business. Fourteen eleven. Well, he's allowing himself to get out of position if he's going to play the forehand there against such a good forehand player as Roscoff. But again, Roscoff very quick to react. Forehand Soxton on the diagonal, great play. Yeah! Again, superb return of serve there from Roscoff. Set up that fourth ball attack. Very quick to capitalise, strong top spins, great play. Giants of the game providing us with a rich spectacle here. 14 all, deciding game. Marvellous four on Toxton here. Off the bounce or top of the bounce and sends Gatti in the wrong way. Kordash looked quite pleased there. Goal! But he knew he had to go for it. It's not in his nature just to hold back. Two positive tail tennis players. Both going for big shots. Great to see. Gatia looks back at his crew as if to say, how could I miss that? It was that fast. Legou, the French player, sat on the bench, actually thought it had touched. Very difficult to tell. Very powerful shot, obviously just missed. 15 each. Yeah! 15, 15. Big point against the serve. Yeah! 16 oh. On the net and away. 
situation there, took it off the bounds, actually came across the ball, faded it wide to Roscoe's backhand, an amazing shot. There you can see the side spin taking the ball wide out of Roscoe's reach. But every time Gatia provides a spectacular winner, Roscoe comes back with one of his own, and it's 17 all. Big point now for both players, but Gatia, of course, with his five serves to come. wins the point, Roscoff over hitting. Gatian's point. What it landed on. <laughs> that certainly was on. And he is back at 19 all. An amazing shot there from Roscoff. Having just missed the previous forehand, there he is going for that forehand Coxton down the line. An ace down the line. Fabulous win, tremendous entertainment. But if you can imagine the disappointment that Gatien and his wife feel right now. Done fabulous stuff. Wonderful stuff. Both players going for big shots in the most pressurized situations possible. And that backhand top's been there. And we see the reaction of the German bench. Slack Kordash there on the left. Man. And the backhand that proved so beneficial does it again. And uh, Jorg Roscoff, what an amazing pillar of strength he has been for the German team. That's nine wins and just one loss so far, and he's won all the big ones that mattered. And here in the semi final, he's won both his matches. And there's the situation. What? Still a little bit more work to do for Damien Elwar. But it looks almost impossible that Fesno in this mood is going to be able to turn this around. The French are getting ready to party. Of 
play. Man 17. Good top spin into the body of Elwar there from Fetzner. Beautiful disguise, but really, he should have made it. Man 18. Bad miss there by Fetzner. shot at all I'm afraid it's gone and they know it he's folded it's desperately sad to see someone lose it quite like this but Paul Marks to Elwa who's taken his advantage again very fair play there he threw the ball up in the air high toss it just actually caught his face so the ball touched his face Ten match points. This for a place in the final. He misses that one. China in the final tomorrow. That's an excellent performance there by Damien Elwal. The one question mark I had by him, had he got the composure, the experience to win such a crucial game? And he answered that in no uncertain terms. Flamboyant character, but the nerve of steel when it counted. And he salutes his teammates. It's been a team performance. And they are going to have a terrific night, but uh, it can't be that good because they're going to come out again tomorrow and do exactly the same. They, though, are going to have a night to remember. France in the final here in the World Championships. What a moment to celebrate. And French sport, which is getting stronger and stronger right across the board. Proving itself here in table tennis. Final score then 21 15, 21 11. France win it. Three matches to two, and they take on the might of China.